Hello and welcome to this week's EMBN show and in a minute we'll be taking a look at the all new Canyon Spectral on and with the school holidays imminent in many parts of the globe we'll be having a look at some activities for your kids. Chris, great to see you. Uh, what colour are you sporting this week? I've got a bit of a grape colour going on. I'm in the slate grey t-shirt, Steve. So loving these tees at the moment. They're pretty fresh, aren't they? Very nice, very nice. Right, starting off with this week's news. Uh, yeah. What about this trash for trails uh, Bosch business going on? Are they yes, throwing so, trash over the trails or what? Yeah, those guys. Yes, yeah, so there's trash free trails. So they've joined forces with Bosch along with Trek. So Trek bikes powered by Bosch motors to allow them to get all over the woods to pick up the trash everyone is dropping. Now, if you look at this uh, a local spot, Lee Woods, I can't believe the amount of trash is act actually picked up from this place. It's plastic pollution, which they're really cracking down on that single use bottles and energy drinks and all that stuff we see thrown over the woods. Their mission is to reduce this uh, pollution by 75% come 2012. And I think with the help of Bosch and Trek getting that done, we're gonna see amazing stuff from those guys. So great work. Yeah, that really is impressive, isn't it? And of course, you know, Bristol is is a is a pretty uh, major urban area, so I guess Definitely. it's not mount, it's not mountain bikers that are leaving this litter. It's you know all all sort of uh, all sort of woodland users. Definitely making those outdoor spaces nicer for everyone, no matter what you're doing. So yeah, it's great stuff that they're doing. Yeah. Uh, now, Chris, you've got young children. Uh, great yep. news from Mondraker is that they've mm -hmm. got these new Grommy bikes. Is that what they are, the Grommies? Yeah, the, the gr new Grommies. So a couple of new bikes coming from those guys, but they look pretty cool. So they've got two bikes. Uh, yep. One is aged three to eight with mm -hmm. 12 inch wheels. And the yep. other is has got 16 inch wheels. Now these have got 250 watt motors, mm -hmm. uh, maximum speed of 11 miles an hour. And and of course, you know, they are throttle operated, so yeah. uh, clearly they're only for use on public land. But what great tools for learning some bike skills at an early age, right? Definitely, yeah, I think they're pretty cool, aren't they? It's a bit closer to an e-motorbike in my eyes. I wish that they'd done that next stage where you've got the bikes with the pedals, you know, so I think that's where the kids will struggle. It's just, I think a balanced bike is good being nice and light, meaning the kids can sort of chuck it around and turn it around on the spot. Whereas I think if you start putting a motor in it, it's going to come a little bit heavy, but I think it is cool, definitely, but I think I would like to see one with pedals on it. That would be my idea of the, the ideal kid's bike, but good stuff. So the Mondrake is coming in at 749 euros. Now, to answer that question, Chris, uh, South Wales bike shop Launch Bikes right. uh, are now doing kids e-bike. Have a look at this video. Now, this is in a location in the Brecon Beacons, and it's actually where uh, me and Doddy did a trip a few years ago. It's, a, you know, it's an incredible environment to mm -hmm. go and explore. So, you know, and these kind of places are normally sort of you know, out of reach for you know that, that kind of age group because definitely because, well, because because they are mountains. But mm -hmm. uh, to see those kids really having a whale of a time in the hills is is, is great it's to see. It's time to announce the winners of our recent giveaways. We've done a couple recently, so we've been super generous here on EMBN. We've got the Pirelli Scorpion E mountain bike tires and the Ergon Mountain Core Prime saddles. So if your name is displayed on screen now you are one of those lucky winners. So look out for an email coming from us asking for your address and things like that. And we're gonna ship those goods out to you. But also keep an eye out for all the other giveaways we're gonna be doing here on EMBN soon. Nice work, guys. Well, earlier this year, Canyon launched their all new Spectral on. And the great news is that myself and Chris recently took delivery of our new bikes. So uh, I took a uh, spin out in the woods to uh, see how they perform. It's all about the looks, right? <laughs> Colour coordination, check. Anyhow, enough about the clothes. What about the bike? The all new Canyon Spectral on, which has two main changes. Well, there's actually quite a few, but let's focus on the first two. Uh, it now has an internal 504 watt hour Shimano battery, and the front triangle is now all carbon fiber, which means the bike has shaved a kilo off the old model. Now, uh, some key details of the bike, 150 mil travel, front and rear. Just to refresh ourselves on why some e-mountain bikes have mixed wheel size. Well, 
It simply means that the larger diameter 29 inch front wheel will roll over those obstacles a little bit easier. So it's going to be avoiding the collisions and carrying momentum that little bit easier. Whereas the smaller diameter 27.5 rear will track and dive into those tighter corners that little bit snappier. Now there's four models in the range, the seven, the eight and the nine, and uh, there's a women specific seven version too. Uh, they begin at 4,200 euros with the flagship, the nine, coming in at, uh, if I remember right, about six and a half thousand euros. Now, the great news for uh, everybody is that all models come with that carbon front triangle. They all come with the Shimano E8000 motor plus the 504 watt hour, watt hour internal battery. Now, all the bikes actually share similar componentry, such as the four piston calipers and the 200mm rotors to anchor you up. Shimano 12 speed throughout the range and of course the uh, Maxxis tyre, the DHR and the DHF. When you look at the weights of these bikes, the 7 weighs in at about 22 kilos whereas the 9 weighs in at 21 kilos. So I guess if you think about it, there's not going to be a massive difference in performance on climbing at least. A couple of neat touches on this bike, a really well protected chainstay area which means the bike is super silent and you move forward very dinky little chain guide there and also a very substantial uh, motor bash guard which is going to protect it from uh, rock strikes plus of course you have a bottle holder which is a very nice touch and finally geometry sizing and suspension now there's a great range of sizes on the spectral on uh, but it's the suspension which I'm going to finish on because it's said to have triple phase suspension now what this means is that the first part of the travel is super Super sensitive which means when you're tracking over roots and such ground like this uh, it's going to keep the wheels glued to the ground and uh, lots of grip and then you move into the central part of the travel which is really supportive and what that means is it's going to hold you in place as you move down through the terrain because if the bike is too soft it'll either mean you're going to be going like this or like that which actually leads to a very tiring ride and then finally the third phase is that supportive ramp up phase which means when you come into those big collisions those big holes the bike's going to hold you in place yeah excellent looking bike steve and don't they ride amazing yes yeah absolutely they do i mean they've been I mean, we've been on some brilliant adventures you know on the on the older model bike and uh, but the new bike i'm actually looking at it now in uh, two-tone gray what color is yours actually I've got like a greeny two-tone green, so it looks really, it looks really good. I love the look of this bike. But what do you think about the the new integrated battery, Chris? I was quite, uh, you know, I wasn't totally against the old external battery because it was super quick to change. But I think now you've got that internal battery, which I think is probably quicker because you've just literally got a four mil Allen key which you uh, slot into the lock, and the battery actually pops out, so it is super quick as well. But I think visually, it just makes the bike look a total different machine in my eyes. It is. It's a stunner, isn't it? Yeah, absolute, it is a bike. Absolute stunner. Yeah. Chris, uh, I hear that you went down to the jumps on this bike. I've been lucky enough to have wind, uh, wind hill on my doorsteps, having those jumps. Yeah, it just made sense to me to go bed it in there. And obviously you've done it in the hills. So yeah, two, two different experiences. What does, what, what does bedding it in, in involve on, on big jumps? <laughs> Hitting some big jumps just to make sure, you know, you're getting all the oil around the shock and the air, you know, it's in the right places and just see how it handles. But it handles absolutely amazing. And as you mentioned earlier, it's stunning as well. So yeah, pretty much in love with this bike. Great stuff. Coming up this week on the channel, we've got a great week of content as always. And on Friday, I hear you've meet, met up with your long lost brother. Is that right, Steve? Long lost, wish I hadn't blinked and seen him. Yes, uh, quite, a, quite a debate going on there about uh, e-bike misconceptions. Uh, nice. But more, more importantly, on Sunday, Chris has got an excellent video uh, based on the range that you get out of e-bike batteries. Now, uh, common sort of debate says that, uh, you know, the higher the battery capacity, the more range you get. But as Chris uh, proves in this video, you can actually get equally as much range out of a smaller battery. Yeah, that's a big day out that one, Steve. You owe me for that one. <laughs> and what we've got on Monday, here we've got another cool video about off-grid uh, stuff to do in your van and your car, is that right? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, at difficult times and many people are a little bit sort of scared about getting in an aeroplane or staying in a hotel or bed and breakfast. So going in your van for an adventure is an excellent way to uh, get out and about. So on Monday, I'm doing a video with Ray, the famous man who made his own e-bike. He shows you exactly how to kit out to kit out your van uh, on, on a budget and it 
it shows you all the technology involved to uh, get you on the move. Nice, nice one. Looking forward to that. Right, it's time for the climb of the week to see what you guys have been up to on your e-bikes and those big epic climbs. What we got, Steve? Uh, well, we've got John who has just bought a new decathlon stylus. He's been out with his family in the woods and it seems like his wife has stolen his bike to do this climb. Uh, very, very impressive, I have to say. I mean, uh, you know, kids are, kids are having a great time kicking around in the, in the stream. I mean, all it needs now is for, uh, for the children to have some e-bikes too and everyone can have a great time. But honestly, Definitely. fantastic skills there to get, what, which seems like quite a, a slippery climb. Definitely. He says he even got the wrong tyres fitted to that bike. So if you had the right tyres on there, he might have seen his wife get to the top of that. But yeah, amazing work. Nice one. John, get your wife some rubber. <laughs> tyres, that is. So what have you guys been up to over the last few weeks? It's time to find out with Out and About. And kicking it off is Andrew. Now, he's on his 2019 uh, Trans E Plus SX Pro. And he is in Kawakawa Bay in Topo, New Zealand. Uh, first day after school finished, we did a road trip to ride 30 uh, kilometers plus track and uh, greatest start of the holidays uh, for my 12 year old daughter, Ruby. Well, there you go. I mean, that's you know, that nice. sort of that, um, backs up what we were talking about earlier. E-bikes are a great way to uh, spend the summer holidays. Yeah, sounds like a massive ride, 30K, that's a nice one. Next up, we've got Timothy here. He's also got an entry in the bike vault. And he's been riding some pretty impressive lines out in Talkeetna, Alaska on his Turbo Canevo. Uh, getting in some epic free ride scree slope action. Now this is pretty cool. It's a massive line this. This video I think does it justice, but the clips as well, you know, some pretty impressive stuff going on there for an e-bike. And hitting that sort of stuff by yourself out there, I mean, that's a pretty big risk, but you've got it nailed and I can see how excited you are at the bottom of that slope. It does look an amazing line. Nice one. Yeah, totally. Uh, meanwhile, Lasse and his trail dog have been for an epic day out on his specialized Levo SL comp. Uh, they're out in Tromso and uh, Kv Kvaloya in North Norway. I mean, our trail dog is currently fast asleep, although <laughs> I've got a, uh, I've got a bit of a nugget here. So maybe we'll uh, have an appearance from my little dog later. Absolutely. Flat out, flat out. Anyhow, Lasse says that he's been breaking in the new bike with his dog with a 40 kilometre, 1,350 metre elevation gain, seven and a half hour day. Wow, Whoa, on those one. trails close to his home. Started uh, home in the city centre, had 8% battery uh, where the picture was taken. Almost made it home before the battery died. Uh, still a lot of snow within the mountains there, Chris. Um, yeah, it looks like it. Tra trails look really wet, mm -hmm. and uh, but great day out for, for Lasse and his trail dog. Does look amazing, doesn't it? Nice one. It's a hell of a ride, isn't it? Seven and a half hours, whoa, nice. How many hours were you out on your battery ride, Chris? That must have been that. A, that must have been a big <laughs> day, right? 10 o'clock to seven o'clock. Crikey. Nine hours. You owe me, right. Steve Jones. Bless you. A nine hour day. <laughs> who'd, who'd have thought, eh? Right, it's time for the bike vault where we get to see all your bikes from all over the world. And we're, me and Steve are going to see if you're going to get a nice or a super nice. And kicking things off, looks like Mark has been out for a ride with his wife. They're riding a white E180 RS and a Cube Stereo HRC 140 race up at La Lan Hydrop Trails. He says, my wife uh, Louise loved riding but hated going uphill, so she stopped after they were getting married, so after the wedding, he couldn't get a ride in. So he brought a cube stereo, now she can smash the ups and smash the downs too. What do you think of that photo, Steve? Oh, it's got to be a nice, I think, kicking it off. Wow, a really nice moody shot here from Mark. He's out in his Commensal uh, Metapower 29 Team Edition in the Lake District. Mm -hmm. He says he's taking a new to e-mountain bike friend over the Nan Beeld Pass for the first time. Hike a bike with 20 kilo plus isn't much fun. Yeah, that's really nice. I'm going to have to call the dog in. Come here. What do you think of this shot here, doglet? Come here. <laughs> Come here. Come and tell me it's super nice or super nice. Help you get. Help you get. What do you reckon of that shot there, look? What do you reckon? Is that nice or super nice? I think that is... What are you doing? Here you go. I think that's a super nice, right? Super nice, yeah, is for that, sure. Is that nice? Is that yeah. nice? Is that a nice biscuit? <laughs> is that a nice, nice. biscuit? <laughs> there you well, go. Got so, a bit of leak. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> look at the dog's daft. Carry on, Chris, and just feeding the dog. 
<laughs> nice, so we've got a bit of lakeside action going on here from Thomas. He's riding a Superior EXF869 in the mountains of Holden in Norway. We don't see too many of those bikes on the show, but it does look a cool bike. It says a beautiful morning ride on the first day of summer vacation. And I think that is a nice shot. You know what? We've definitely got a summer vacation theme going on this week's show, haven't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, uh, getting close to those summer holidays, that's for yeah, sure. We should do a summer special. Uh, anyhow, meanwhile, uh, this is from Benoit, uh, mm -hmm. a floral shot here out and about on his track Powerfly 9.9 uh, .9 in Pop Poparingi, having a nice ride in the mountains. And it's actually an area of Belgium with lots of hops and beers. I mean, I'd go super nice. Nice. Cool. We've got Sean here. He's out for a spin with his three boys. He's riding a 2019 Trek Powerfly 5 full suspension. He's got a bit of a mullet theme going on there, Steve. Look at that. Uh, he's got diety handlebars and grips on the trails of Wascana Trails in Saskatchewan in Canada. Nice. Oh, great, isn't it? Wascana, Saskatchewan. Great. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, old meets new here, and an ancient tree and a modern e downhill bike. This belongs to Gerhard, who's got his high bike XDH 9.0, riding nice. in the mountains uh, Carinthia, the South Alps in Austria. That is super nice there, Gerhard. Nice, nice looking bike, that. I love those. Well, closer to home here, this is Neil from Wareham. He's out for a blast with his mates on his white E150 RS. It's a nice looking bike, that clean, aren't they? I'm gonna give that a nice as well. Absolutely. Uh, now, uh, can't beat a bit of a Utah backdrop. Eric mm -hmm. and his wife are on their decoys and Cannondale Cujo ride in Casto Canyon, Utah. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, Eric says, uh, great ride out with the wife on fantastic trails with amazing views. Now, mm -hmm. do you know what? We need to get out to Utah. Some of, oh, the, some of the rock climbing we can do there on e-bikes is next level. Uh, but, going, but going back to the photograph, there's only one way that's going, and that is super nice. Super nice, yeah, for sure. Whoa, amazing sun, uh, sunset. Sun, sun, sunset, sunset. sunset. Somerset. Sunset. Amazing sunset here. Look at this amazing shot here from Darren. He's out riding with his mate on their Santa Cruz Heckler and all bear wild team in the hills of Pitchfee, Aberdeenshire. So did a loop around in normal trails and then did some downhill laps till the sun, uh, sun went down. That I think is a super nice shot, isn't it? Look at that sunset. Yeah, it's a super nice sunset. Mm. Uh, whoa, up on the mountain here, Timothy yeah. uh, is riding a turb turbo lever expert up on the, uh, here we go, Tal Talk Eatner Mountain. God, it's a challenging old part Talkita. of the show. It's, it a is, cha it? it's a challenging part of the show, this. I'm Talk glad you're struggling. Talk Eatner in Alaska. Wow, honestly, the, the places e mountain bikes get to is absolutely incredible. Now, that's got to be, uh, again, um, yeah. definitely a Scandinav Scandinavian uh, vacation theme as well to this, this week's bike fault. Yeah, definitely yeah. a super nice. So, that's and the guy who had the out and about earlier doing a big free ride action. And I mean, that's an epic location, isn't it? Okay, nice, yeah. So it's been a uh, Scandini Scandinavian week of sunsets this week, uh, but the bike of the week, Chris, has got to be who? Mm. I don't know, some strong entries this week, but I think Darren, we're actually with the sun sunset sot. <laughs> 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 Darren with the sunset <laughs> shot. Yeah, nothing beats smashing a lap with your mates till sunset, does it? And uh, I think that's what it's all about. Yeah, sunset smashing the shots. Great stuff. <laughs> keep keep sending your photographs in, and uh, mm. you know what? It, it gives us so much uh, fun looking at uh, and yeah. it's you know fantastic parts of the world mm -hmm. that you guys uh, get on your e mounted bikes. Absolutely yeah. brilliant. Thank you very much. So that's it for this week's EMBN show. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to take the dreadlocks out of the dog now. Uh, let's know your thoughts on the all new Canyon Spectralons. Uh, let's know, get, get involved in the comments about your summer holidays or vacations. Obviously that only applies to certain parts of the world. I'm sure the rest of you might be going into, into winter, but uh, yeah, e-bikes are great for all the family. What are you looking at? Definitely. Yeah, yeah. Can't wait to smash it on my Canyon Spectral this weekend. But if you've enjoyed today's show, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here on EMBN and give us a like and a follow on social media too. Cheers for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>